make this a real quick little video. What I did, I um, uh, got a piece of glass here and um, I went down to an autom automatic transmission shop and uh, got some metal powder. Okay, what happens when you take your um, uh, your car in to get the uh, transmission um, oil changed in the gasket and what have you? The, uh, there's a magnet inside the um, the pan that collects all the scrap from your um, from your transmission. And it collects on a magnet, and so I cleaned off a bunch of magnets. Uh, that, and got all this metal powder. So um, I want to see what's happening uh, with um, the north-south um, uh, thing here with the um, what do you call it? Uh, with my magnets. Okay. Now I was going to buy some of that um, green um, green filament, but um, <coughs> pardon me. I noticed that it doesn't show you the um, the flux lines very clearly. So I opted for the uh, old grade four uh, science class uh, metal powder, and so I'm um, just gonna sprinkle a bunch of this on, over top of the magnet, and um, see what happens with the flux lines of flux. And um, if I sprinkle it carefully enough. It'll automatically jump into its um, desired position. And you got to remember, there's a north pole in the center and two south poles, and that's what I'm trying to look at here. This way, I get a, a nice clear view of what's happening with these um, magnets of mine. And you might want to try this yourself if you're trying to build a magnet motor and not use that. Um, that green uh, filament is like pretty expensive. A four by three sheet of it is uh, only four inches by three inches. Is um, I think it was about twenty six bucks. This metal powder and a piece of paper and a little piece of glass is a whole lot cheaper. <laughs> It was pretty much just about, may as well call it free. So what you see forming here, you see, you see the, um, the south poles at the ends, and then a north pole in the center, okay? And uh, that's nice, that's what I was looking for. And um, you see where the, uh, yeah. Where the south is coming around, around to the north, and again from the north around to the south, and um, let's just uh, give this a little bit of a, a twerk. You can see these lines form up even better. There you go. So there's my magnet. Okay. Now um, another thing I want to do, I want to show uh, the same thing but with um, uh, two magnets opposing each other in uh, re repulsive. So we'll just turn that off, take the glass away, it's out of here somewhere. And so we'll put that one that way, grab another one, and put that one that way. I don't want to really, um, uh, just wants to roll across the table, there we go, we find the flat spot, don't want too much repulsion, just enough to demonstrate. Yep. Put the glass back on, and yeah, here's my paper, put it that sideways to the glass and uh, should be right in there. So we'll just let that powder happen. There you start seeing where where the magnets are.
should be enough. Put it aside. And you just uh, twerk it. Okay, I think that should be pretty clear. You can see the um, south pole coming around to the north, and around to the north, and then from the north around to the south, and then same thing on the other side here. Right in the middle, in between the two magnets, you see a strong repulsion, and that's um, that's critical. That's uh, that's good. I've been thinking of getting uh, some uh, Moo Metal um, tubing to um, to see if I can't cancel out the North Pole entirely. But that stuff's pretty expensive unless you're you own a computer factory and you're um, building hard drives. So um, yeah. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful. Okay. Uh, we'll talk at you later. Okay. Bye-bye.